Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and in today's video you guys, we are going to be doing something new and fun today. Today we are going to be going makeup shopping together. I've been planning to do this video for quite some time now because I think I've mentioned in like a few vlogs literally that I got Sephora gift cards for my graduation and I haven't yet to use them and I graduated in May. So it's been like two months. Do they expire? My goal is to only use the gift cards. I think I have like $150. I don't know. I know I have $50 on one gift card. I can't remember on the other one. But when I get there, I'm going to ask. That's the first thing I'm going to do so I can figure out how much I have. My goal is to only use the gift cards, but I can also use $50 of my own cash. That's all I'm going to do. So it's kind of like a challenge, but at the same time, there is a lot of things I want to get. you guys so i just got in the car but what i wanted to do was basically just tell you guys what i have in mind that i want to get there are a few things that i do for sure want to get my hands on first i kind of want to look into getting some of the new one sized powders i'm saying some of like i don't have a budget but at least one of the one size powders yesterday i did order some things from sephora y'all i'm not gonna lie it was with my own money as well so that's why i only gave myself a 50 dollars limit today i ordered the one size powder in ultra peach i think that's what it is i wanted to try that i know i've already used their translucent which i really love another thing that is actually super popular that i just literally have yet to get my hands on is the laneige lip mask i want to get that too so that i can put that on my clients before i start their glam you know what i mean yeah so i'm thinking about that too that's kind of all i have in my head at the moment that i want to get i know once i get there i'm gonna be like oh i want this i want this let me check my sephora app and see if I have some things in my cart that I have been wanting. In my cart, I have like three of the one size powders in there. I might get like some lighter concealers. We're gonna see. I have been wanting to try some of the Fenty foundation powders as well, y'all. I know all of these things are like so expensive, so I'm only gonna be able to get like one of the things. I just know for sure that I want to get the Laneige lip mask and um, maybe a one size powder. We just got in here just got in here so first thing i said i was gonna do is ask them how much i even have on the gift cards so let's go do that there's not even a worker up here y'all i hope they have everything because i know the last sephora i went to was in a mall and it was much bigger so i hope they have the laneige and everything oh my gosh y'all this is the palette that i've been wanting oh they're out of it <laughs> fully i want this one the master mats the neutrals or should I get the original? I'm gonna see if they have this one because I would like to get this one. I just wanted to see if you guys had this one maybe under the gotcha. case. Yeah. Okay, thank you. We found the neutrals down there, but he's gonna look in the back to see if they can find the, the original one. I don't know which one I want because I feel like the original reminds me of my Juvia's Place palette that I already have. But the neutrals, I don't know if it's going to be shades that truly complement brown skin tones and that's usually what I work on in myself. I know, I really like that they have this gray. I've been wanting to try like a gray eyeshadow look. I think I might go and do this one because this one is very typical. So we're here with one size and you guys know... This is the one that I just got. Looks like they're out. Okay, no, they're not. They have a, they have a few of them. So I have this one. I have this one. I was also thinking of trying the. I think it was the dark deep one. Do they have that one? Mary Gold. Okay, they have all of them in stock, y'all. Let me show you guys. So dark deep is for dark skin tones. Well, actually, why am I opening this? I'm supposed to use the. <laughs> It's Esther. Oops. So bam, y'all. It's very dark, actually. And I don't know if it'll be too dark to the point where it kind of just, like, makes the skin look all one shade. I do like for the under eye to always give some sort of shade bright difference, if that makes sense. 
Was it Dark Deep or Rich Peach that I liked? I don't think it was Marigold, because Marigold reminded me of Kunafa from Huda Beauty, and I don't really like the shade of it. It's very yellow. Let me see. Gotta look on TikTok, y'all. This is the video that I had seen, y'all. And she used the Dark Deep. So according to TikTok, Rich Peach is the one that I want to try for my brown skin girlies, and I got the originals and the makeup by Mario Bella. I feel like that's everything that I want to look at and also the Laneige lip mask and that might be it y'all oh they have some hourglass concealers in stock finally I don't know which ones I have I think I have maple already and dune let's see about teak see how dark it is okay that's really dark Mocha. <laughs> Mocha is probably so good for deep skin tones and it doesn't give a yellow undertone. I'm sure we've all seen like the yellow undertone in most concealers for deeper skin tones. I hate that. Flax might be a really good one to try out. I would literally be so late to the party if I was just to get this, but I really want to try it this um charlotte tilbury flawless filter it's like a foundation but it has a glow to it if that makes sense and i think like a dupe of it is the elf halo glow i don't know if i should try that one instead or what y'all i might need this color right here this one might be too dark for me perfect you guys i found laneige so i would just want to try the lip mask this right here bam Laneige lip treatment. This right here. Let's try it though. Oh, it's super buttery, y'all. I love it. <laughs> You're like, even if you literally don't want anything on your lips, I feel like you could put that on your lips just for moisture. Or even like when I'm with Babe and I want to kiss her, but I'm like, my lips are so dry. She doesn't want me to put lip gloss on. I can put on this. <laughs> I'm getting this. Perfect. A. I think that's everything that I want, honestly. I'm looking at other things, but nothing else is really tickling my interest for the most part. I was going to get like some Jizu lip oil or stuff, but I don't really need it. I have so many. Um, flawless filter. Wait, so is that the same one as this one? Can I ask you about saving with the Sephora credit card? If you're not interested, just say no thank you. No. But I do have two gift cards. Sure. I know. There you go. Thank you. Okay, that took out 50, and then I'll leave you there. <laughs> Period, y'all. <laughs> It was $50 on each gift card, so I ended up only spending 15 bucks of my own, which is really good. So I am very pleased with the outcome of today. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to Target as well and maybe get a few hygiene things because I could definitely use it as far as like body wash and stuff like that goes. Should I go to Target or should I go home? We're cute, I mean. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll probably go to Target and then after that I'll head home. I'm excited! I'm gonna make it quick in here because honestly my phone, I mean not my phone, my camera is about to die and I don't want to get any footage that you guys cannot see. These are cute. A cute little vibe. Clarence. Eight bucks? That's so still. <laughs> these are cute. Are these the same? Mm, no, they're a little different. Guys, isn't this so cute? A cute little chill bag. I'm gonna try it on. Yeah, I ended up over here at the um, PJ section now. <laughs> And I really think this is so cute. They don't have it in my size or even this one. 
so cute. They don't have in my size. They do have this in my size. It's kind of oh, oh dang, it's the black one. Never mind. I do have this in my cart though. But I don't really think I want that. It's pretty typical. I want something like cute and different, you know? Yeah, these aren't giving the vibes. Unfortunately, everything is just extra large. Probably while I'm back here, I should go ahead and try on the things that I have in my car. I do have a few things. I went over in the kids section and got heck of stuff. I only ended up getting two of like the eight things I had in my cart. But um, now we're over here in the beauty aisle and the only thing I'm really looking for is just the El Halo Glow. I actually do think I wanna try that today. Oh, here we are. Okay, so. This is the Halo Glow. I'm thinking maybe tan deep or medium tan out of these two. It even has the same like shade non-diversity as the Charlotte Tilbury one. So. <laughs> it looks so dark. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I think I'll do this one. 14 bucks versus the like $48 for the Tilbury one. And I'll get the one I trimmed it over. <laughs> So guys, I pretty much got all the things that I was wanting to get that I've been thinking about for the most part. I'm about to head home. It is drizzling, y'all, so I'm just gonna pay attention to the road so I can get home safely. And then when I get home, you guys, I'll give you guys a full haul of everything that I got. So I am back home and I want to give you guys a haul of everything that I got from the stores today and also like I said what I got from Sephora yesterday. So we have two Sephora bags and let's we'll start with this one here. I got three one sized powders you guys. I am in love with one sized powders. First I tried their translucent. That was the only one I had tried and I'd had to re-up on it maybe like three four times. Now I have two new shades in it but i also got another little baby translucent and i feel like it's just great to kind of like go down the skin tone line as you guys can see so we have this translucent which is for any skin tone but then you have this light ultra peach one and then this one right here is what i got for deeper skin tones the reason why i love one size is because the powders literally just melt into the makeup and into your skin i have minimal to no creasing at all when i do use one size powders on my clients and i just i don't know something about it it's something about it i've tried huda beauty i've of course went through my laura mercier phase but for some reason one size has really stuck with me. So I'm not gonna lie, one size was actually what I had used and for some reason I did not like the powder so I switched over to Huda Beauty and I was using Huda Beauty for a while. I was using the Huda Beauty peach and stuff. I forgot the colors, the banana bread and things of the sort like that. But recently I came back over to one size and I love one size again this is the translucent baby this one is just like a neutral color and i use this for literally any skin tone yesterday i ended up ordering the ultra peach translucent powder from one size this one i plan to use on lighter skin tones to brown skin tones i think this one would be perfect for that and this is supposed to give your under eye a bright look of course the translucent powder will always always brighten but this one also gives you a tint plus a bright and overall it'll just give you a much more skin like finish if that makes sense as you can see it's like a peach color i'm super excited to use this you guys like y'all don't even know i feel like this is going to be so so pretty on me so i'm going to try this out i'm definitely definitely going to try this out next time i'm at my suite sometime this week i'm going to do a makeup look and use this one for sure and then last but not least you guys i got the rich peach today this one looks like this I'm super, super excited to try this one out, and I got both of those. I got both of the peach ones and the really big one. I should have got these ones in the small one. Next thing I got yesterday, y'all, was this new Rare Beauty blush. I love the Rare Beauty blushes, actually. I've actually never tried any other type. That's a lie. I've tried the liquid elf blushes, but besides 
those rare beauty liquid blushes are the only ones i've tried i know juvia's place is also very very popular in the liquid blush community but i haven't really had an urge to go try one out i am very content with the rare beauty ones so personal preference but i did get a new rare beauty this one is in the color hope i thought this would be like so perfect for lighter skin and also just for blush to come off a bit lighter so I'm excited to try this one. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Oh yeah, that's such a cute color. I know this is going to look so good. One lighter skin. So as you guys can see, I might even try this one myself too. Because I just know this is going to be such a cute color. So now I think I'm on my what? Fifth or sixth Rare Beauty blush. Your girl has a good collection. <laughs> Another thing I want to say about Rare Beauty is that I just love this packaging so much. The gold with the little circle here. Like, it's just so sleek and so cute. Last thing I got yesterday was a new one size setting spray. I love to use this on my clients to set the makeup in place. But I know that a lot of people have been talking about some new finishing setting sprays i can't tell you a name off the top of my head but there are like two that i've been saying a lot recently that everybody's saying try this try this try this your makeup is going to stay on all day long stay tuned i'm definitely going to try that and i may make this a little series on my channel just trying out things that are like popular i needed to re-up on this so i just got the small one it'll be on a budget okay <laughs> We gotta get the minis. Also today, I got the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes The Neutrals Palette. This is a pretty popular one, and I've been wanting to get my hands on it. This is the Makeup by Mario Palette. Ooh, oops. here she is, you guys. This is so cute. So many cute shades. I'm very, very excited to try this, and let's do a little pigment test very pigmented i just swatched one right here and this is just two little swatches very very pigmented and that color is this one right here so the color is also true to color let me just put it back in here i'm gonna take it out anyway i don't keep any of my packaging the last thing i got was the laneige lip mask I'm about to take this off my lips and try it, y'all. I have to. I have to. It's only right. Well, mm, no, I'll wait. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try it when I get done. Oh, the packaging is so cute. Wait, what is this little dot right here for? Oh, it's a little applicator. That's so cute. Uh, oh no, that is too, 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 too cute. It's a little L and it has a little applicator. That is so neat. I am actually in love. And you open it, it's like a little bomb. Yo, I didn't get the right one. <laughs> This is not the right one. You guys are supposed to be pink. Uh, no! Wait a second. Was I supposed to get the Laneige sleeping mask? I don't think so, though. How do you even spell that? Laneige. Oh, it is the sleeping mask. This is what I wanted, the sleeping mask. Can I take this back? I'm a little sad, maybe I can keep this one for myself. Well, that just killed the vibes. <laughs> I'm gonna save this, cause I'm gonna see if I can take this back and get the one that I want, for sure. I actually did really good, you guys. So I spent 115 in Sephora, but only 15 bucks of my own. And then in Target, I spent $40. So I went outside today and spent 55 bucks, you guys. That is amazing for me. Like, that is literally amazing for me. So I'm very proud of myself, honestly. I was very, very particular in what I got from Target. And I did good. Like, I really did good. And I got things that were literally, like, at the top of my brain. What I had just talked about that made it even better because I kind of knew exactly what I wanted. Because I know today when I showered, I was like, I need a new body scrub. I had a little bit of this left that I used to scrub, but I needed a new one for sure. And everybody knows of Tree Hut. Comment down below if there are any other good body scrubs below. I'm honestly 
not one of those girlies who was like very into like shower care i would say i just use dove body wash and i get out the shower i don't have a whole five six seven eight step routine and this isn't something that i do on the every day i've been seeing that a lot lately and it's just something i wanted to touch on like is that for real like are y'all serious or is it a joke same thing with skincare i don't know Besides the point, <laughs> but I am open to trying other recommendations for some good scrubs. And then next I got this Dove Body Scrub. And this one, I usually get the brown one, but they only had this one and the pink one. But I got this one, it's the Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk one. It smells pretty good, I would say. It kind of stinks a little. You guys seen me in there trying to figure out which Elf Halo Glow to try, and I got this bad boy here and i got the color shade six and this one is in tan deep i'm super excited to try this to add something new into my everyday makeup routine today i have on a little makeup but this isn't my usual routine this wasn't what i showed you guys in my last get ready with me video when i was in target i went to the kids section and got a whole bunch of craziness a whole whole bunch of craziness but i didn't end up getting any of it and i kind of wish i would have went back and got one of those sleeping sets since i didn't get any of those clothes i only ended up getting one clothing item and it was just these shorts right here. I just feel like these are cute. I can throw them on to do any type of anything. Or I can even dress it up and do like a cute something with it. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Shopping with me. Should I make this a series? Let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We are still on the road to 400k. Tell a friend to tell a friend. A family member, a cousin, an auntie, an uncle, a stranger. Yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!